Hey guys, this is the 8th C Sharp tutorial, and in this tutorial, we will be taking a more in-depth look at strings. So, first, just create a new project, and have it be a Windows Forms application. Alright, and for this part of the tutorial, we're only going to need a button. <coughs> Alright, and double click on the button, and now you're going to get this code. So first, um, we're going to look at arrays, and what arrays are are it's 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 in a string. Well, you can have it strings or integers, but we're looking at strings. And what what it is is it's like a list of strings that is only one string, and you can reference you can reference each part of the string separately. So first, let's get started. We're going to just type string, and you're going to need to put two brackets after it, and this signifies that it is an array. And then you're going to declare the string and call it anything, but I'm just going to call it string array one. And then you need to set it equal to something. So set it equal to, you're going to need uh, two French curly braces, and inside the French curly braces, you're going to need to put two quotes, a comma, and two quotes. And inside these quotes, you can put anything, but I'm going to put Adam. Oops. I'm going to put Adam zero and Adam one. All right. Now to reference these strings. So we're going to have a message box show this part of the string. And to do that, what you do is you do string array one. And then you put a bracket, put a bracket, and then this is the zero part, and this is the one part. And it's always like that. It doesn't matter what this is. I just had it as Adam zero so that you can understand that this is zero, the zero part of the string. So you're going to want to put zero and then a bracket. So now when we um, click the button, it should say Adam zero. And there we go, it says Adam Zero. Alright, now for the next part, we are going to look at remove um, parts of your string. So if there is a part of your string you would like to remove, you can do that simply by writing dot remove. And then put two um, uh, parentheses. Now inside these parentheses, you're going to put two things. The first number is going to signify where you start at. Now, 0 is the first character, similar to the arrays. 0 is the first character, 1 is the second, and so on. So, if we want to remove the first character, we do 1, and then put a comma, or 0, and put a comma, and write 1. First number is the starting place, and the second number is how many characters you remove. So, if we were to put 2 here, it would remove that. But first, we're just going to put 1. So now, it should say... DAM0 when we click the button. And there you go, DAM0. Now we're going to take a look at replace. So if there's a certain character that you would like to replace with another character, you can do that simply by doing replace, two parentheses, and put two quotes, a comma, two quotes. The first quote, or the first um, set of quotes here, is going to contain the character that you want to be replaced. So if I put 1 here, or I mean if I put, actually let's put D here, and A here. So it will replace D with A. So here let's test that out. So we should get a message box that says AAAM0. AAAM0. There we go. Now, the last thing that we are going to look at is contains. So if you would like to see if a string contains something, we can use the if statement and the contains thing. So first you're going to want to write if, and then string array 1, and then you're going to want to reference which part of the string, or I mean the array. Well, this time let's reference the, 
the second part of it, which we would say write one. So write one in a bracket, and then dot contains. And in here is going to be the um, part of the string that it contains. So if it contains dam, then do something. Let's have a message box show, and it will show. It will say that the string contains dam. All right. So now when we click the button, it should say the string contains DAM. Yes, the string contains DAM because the this contains DAM. Alright, that is it for the 8th C Sharp tutorial. If you have any questions about strings, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer it.